this tutorial we're going to uh, go through turning the uh, rocket parts into an assembly. So to do that, the first thing you should do is open up all of the parts, if you haven't already got them open. So I'm going to go to the body and open that up. And then I'm going to open up the nose cone. And I'll also open up the tail fin. Now, uh, what we need to do is make up a new file. Uh, uh, so what we're going to do is go over here to New File. And this time, instead of selecting a part file, we're going to select an assembly. Say OK. Right-click on the gray area, go to Document Properties, check that it's ANSI, check that the units are set to inches, and set the fractions to sixteenths. Sixteenths. And round to the nearest fraction. Say OK. Now, the easiest way to, to get the assembly going is to uh, have all of the file, all of the uh, part files open as well as the assembly file uh, available to, to see. So we're going to tile the uh, files vertically. Okay. So now we've got the, the body, the nose cone, and the uh, tail fin. And in this area is the assembly file. So to start off the assembly file, we could go to, I'm going to make that the active one, we could insert a component, go to Insert, Component, New Part, and then select it uh, from, the, uh, uh, from the browser. However, the easier than that is, since we've got these open, just uh, go to the Body Part file, click on the top of the tree where it says Body, and drag that into the assembly. Now, when you've uh, put a part into the uh, assembly, the very first one should be the main part or the fixed part that you want everything else to rotate around or be referenced to. So in this case, it's probably best that our that, that the body of the f uh, rocket is the fixed uh, the fixed part. So we drag that in first. Then you can drag in other uh, parts. So I just click on the nose cone, drag it in, and I'm going to take one tail fin and I'll drag it in. You don't have to do this all at once. You could uh, do them one at a time. But I've put, I've put in all the parts that I need right now, so I don't need the part files anymore, so I'm just going to maximize the assembly file, and I'll zoom to fit the, the screen there. And I'm also going to rotate around so that I can see a little bit of the parts. And you can see over in the feature tree all of the parts that have been added. Okay. Uh, now what we're going to do is we need to get the parts into position. So what we have to do is we have to use things called mates. Mates will uh, allow us to constrain one part to another in different ways. We could constrain them uh, based on their center lines. So for cylindrical objects, we tend to use their uh, center lines. We could uh, mate surfaces together. Uh, there's tangents and all sorts of different types of mates. And you'll find that uh, uh, in order to do uh, one thing, uh, there may be many different ways to, uh, to, do, to approach it. And so you just need to find one way that will work to achieve what you want. Uh, mates, once they're created, sometimes they need to be deleted so that uh, you, you use it just to get something in place, but you don't want to have it uh, maintained in that, locked in that position. So uh, sometimes we need to delete the mates as well, and that's always possible uh, by clicking on them in the uh, feature tree. So to uh, get started here, I'm going to position the nose cone first. So uh, the best thing to do is to get it uh, uh, sort of into position, so we can use the, the rotate component over in the feature menu. Click on the object that we want to rotate and just spin it around. Just get it close to pointing the, right, the correct direction. And then I'm going to accept that rotation. And we can also move it if we want. We can click on the move and click on the object and just slide it roughly into place there. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we really want the center line of the cylinder of the nose cone to be. Uh, lined up with the center line of the cylinder of the body. So we go over here, we can either go to Insert Mate, or over on the Feature menu, we go to the Paper Clip, which means uh, Mate. And now what we need to do is select the things that we want to mate. So in this case, I want to select the entire cylinder portion here. It's really the cylinder face. Okay, And then I want to also select the face of the uh, body cylinder. Now. Uh, it tries to figure out for us what the mate will be. Concentric means that we're going to line them up on their centers. Okay, uh, We can preview and see what happens, and we see that they're now lined up on their centers. So I'm going to accept that one because that's what I want. Now I can move the nose cone 
and notice that no matter what I do, I can only move it along that center line. It's now been constrained so, and uh, such that the center lines will always stay lined up together. So what we want to do now is to get the, get the nose cone, uh, the back edge in here to line up with the edge of the uh, cylinder here. So I'm just going to rotate around so I can see a little bit better. So I'm going to add another mate. So sometimes you can use several mates, and as I said before, sometimes you'll put in a mate just to get something into position, and then you'll get rid of the, the mate afterwards. So I'm going to go back up to the mate toolbar, and I'm going to select the surface that I want to uh, have mated. And really what I want is this right here. I want that surface where it shows me the outline of the inner and outer uh, cylinder uh, circles. So I click there and then I want to be able to see the surface that I'm going to mate that to. So I'm going to zoom in. I can do this while I'm in the command. Okay, And I'm going to zoom around a little bit more. Actually I can see it there if I go. Uh, I'm still in the uh, rotate so I hit escape and now if I just hover around I can get all the different possibilities and really what that's the one I want is that entire uh, edge right there. Okay, and then I can, uh, I want those to be coincident. That means that really they're uh, uh, edge to edge. Okay, so if I preview them, now I can see that I've really got what I want is, I'm going to zoom all, and I'll rotate around. I've got them locked on their centers, and I've got the nose cone in as far as it can go there. So that's, that's how I want that one positioned. So that, that one's now done. So I can click on here. This little uh, uh, thumb, uh, uh, thumbnail is uh, if we do if we click on that, then we can accept a mate and then carry on. It'll open up. It'll continue on with a brand new mate, with, rather than having to go in and out of the mate command all the time. Just saves you one step there. Uh, otherwise, it's not necessary. So the next thing we want to do is to get the uh, the tail fin into position. So uh, I'm going to leave that for the next uh, next lesson, just to keep this one uh, short uh, or the file size short enough. So I'm going to finish here, and you can move on to the next uh, the next one after that. So this one is uh, rocket uh, assembly part one, and then you can move on to rocket assembly part two.